Uh, we're in Ruby Vale, we're off to the Ivy Cottage. Uh, we Miner's didn't, Cottage. Miner's Cottage. We didn't go there last time, but what caught Cherie's attention was you get a free scone with it, so that's where we're going. Hey, Dad didn't catch my attention because I'm gluten free. Yeah. And I don't think out here they will have gluten free. Yeah. But Terry from the caravan park reckons you get good gems in them bags. Yeah. Hey, right. right, we'll give it a go. And they'll teach us how to do it for free, even though we know we'll just watch for more clues and tips. That's it. It will be a book of knowledge. Plethora of information. Well, that's a bit weird. Yeah, here it is. Oh, cash only. Really? Cash? No, we've got to go to the pub. <laughs> so it's cash only, we've got to go to the pub, get some cash. I don't know if the pub will be open yet because it's not 10 o'clock. Are there shops in town? I don't think there is. But the good thing is they're dog friendly. Yeah, so we didn't have cash, it was cash only at the Midas Cottage, so we had to go and look for some cash. And if you go to the post office, just around the corner, just around the corner, you can get cash out, and there's no fee, which was a bonus. Because the pub was shut till ten. Yeah, it's only nine thirty, so bargain. Butterfly face. Yeah. Yeah. It would be like, uh, yes, come off someone's mind, how it's straight out of their pulse out of their being checked. Yeah. So they just clear the pulse out every day, straight into the thing, and then it just comes up into the bucket. So, yes. So there's more chance of finding something bigger or better, obviously, in that. Yeah. It's still, the chances are still there, but it's just obviously more times a day. We're getting more cubic metres of effectively processed travels oh, yeah. um, in that compared to that, what, considerably yeah. more times a day. Um, but that's, yeah, so there's your standard wash buckets, which you'll find second so there's no doubt about it. Um, so yeah, it's up to you which way you want to go. But what do you want to do, Big Kenny? I have gluten free scones. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> he, he can have my scone. <laughs> you want a cup? Um, yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have skinny milk? What have I got? I sound like a city chick now, don't I? <laughs> oh, you're real yummy on this. Don't ask for gluten free, you sound real weird. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, we're so, we're so wide down here. And I just expand as well. Like, I went and got green tea and things because I, people kept asking me, and I was like, oh, we don't, like, nobody out here with green tea. Yeah, let's like, get some green tea. Yeah. I will work on this. Uh, though. She okay. works in the flashiest office in Townsville too. Ooh, to all the nice people. Oh, <laughs> no sugar, just milk, please. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, was that coffee? Yes, yes. please. Alrighty. Oh, Alright, so we're just going to get the bucket. Yep. Set the time, just put it in there. Ruby thinks it's dog biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> So we can either wash it here. Well, generally I'll put it in like that, and I'll bring it over to the bigger, the bigger tubs. So easy enough. Maybe that we have as much. Here. What's the biggest one you've ever found? 
Um, look, oh look, I found some bigger ones, but the the, the biggest one that could, would cut was 22 carat, and when I cut that, it came in at about just under seven. Yeah, how much are they worth? Uh, it was dark. It was dark, but it's still okay. It still was worth about eight thousand. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's not a bad. Yeah, not bad. It was worth more than I thought. I thought it was a bit dark, but no, that was still still quite valuable because I did get it value, properly valued. But then, yeah. So do they value them here? No, no. There's a valuer that comes to town every now and then. Oh yeah. Sure, I've had a dog already. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so I'll I'll generally put it in and I'll give it a bit of a. Just a bit of a rub across the, just sort of across the mesh, it just helps to break some of the clays up. Although there's not many clays in this, it's been through the pole trainer, so it's actually pretty good. Well, we watched that Gen Fever show and <laughs> we got excited, didn't we? But we yeah. want to try that. Yeah. Oh, me and my partner, we came down, we're gold detectors and we came going gold detecting but the grass was so long so we decided we'd go. Yeah. A friend said, oh, I've got to claim at Washpool out at Rubyvale if you like and my sapphire claim, you can go and stay out there for a while. Oh, well, okay. Don't know much about that, but all right, let's we'll we'll have a look at that. And now yeah, you're still there. Love the <laughs> Just love the area. And yeah. yeah. We're supposed to be doing a couple of laps around Australia. We got as far as here, and that's where, where we got to in Australia. Let's flip it to yourself. Yep. <coughs> and we should, I'll go grab you some. I yeah, see quite a few in here. I'll go oh, grab wow. Bargain. Right. Yeah, it's worth it for that. Hey. There you go. So no, normally, normally without disturbing him, I'll just grab out what yeah. is obvious, and from there I'll just spread it back to. Oh, I'll pick out the big, oh. get rid of some of the big rocks. Just makes it easier. Can can I pick pretty ones out too? Oh, you can keep the pretty rocks if you want. And sometimes the kids, that's all the kids grab. They overlook the sapphires, and I'll just grab the big rocks. I like this rock. Ooh, look at this rock. We just spent a week at Mount Hay getting yep. the thunder eggs. Okay. Yep. You're definitely a lot more, aren't you? Yeah, we're in a lot of chicken dinner. Remember that that one said the yellow ones too, babe. If you see any yellow ones. See, how can you not love this? I know. <laughs> it's so addictive. So anyway, so at this point, like now that we get lots, now that we've grabbed what's obvious, I'll just spread it out, like yeah, you just the outside, get the outside out, and sort of just work your way back in. You can see them as you go and pick them, or you just let them dry out because obviously once they're dry, they're a lot easier to spot. So yeah, you got, you might, like yeah, you got, it's like, like flat, it's like stepped, like it's all like you got, that's your table. Yep. So you see that flat piece there? You'll always find a bit like that. So you got your table. It's it's sort of like it in lots of layers. Yep. Um, but yeah, generally, so far you'll find at least that one little piece that you can see that's got that shimmer. Shimmer, even if it even if it has even if it's sort of a, a very water worn or you know a travel piece, it'll still generally have a a piece that you'll be able to spot like that. Yep. So do you okay. get garnets out here too? You do. Yeah, you do get garnets. Not as much, but uh, they, you do find garnets, possibly topaz. They look a bit like lead pencil, don't they? This one? We've got a few in here. So that's, this will be quartz. This is my quartz bar. You'll see once, <laughs> you'll see once it dries, the, yeah, there's a few in here. Yeah, that's right. We'll go back through it later, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, 
we've probably got most of it now. Yep. Uh, we'll come over here, I'll let that dry out a little bit, and you can have a look once it dries. So, Otherwise, some things will stand out yep. so much more. Okay, there you go. That's, uh, so then we'll do the same thing here. They've just grabbed the, with, you can ease this with the tweezers, because the more you handle it, then not so bad with this one, because it's yep. not so muddy. Although, you know, there is still muddy yeah. stuff in there. So yeah, if you grab, if you grab out, most of them should have worked out. If you dig it right, they will be more concentrated in the, in the center, but doesn't mean that they won't be on the outside either. So if you just grab without disturbing, you grab what you can, and then we do the same thing where we just work from the outside, spreading it out a bit. We bring it back to a, a single layer so you can pat it down a little bit too. Because if you that single layer, it'll dry out, and then you, therefore you're seeing it better and easier. And... It's like playing that doctor game. Yeah. <laughs> Doctors and nurses. <laughs> no. <laughs> no dude, what, what was it called? Um, I know the one you made. Yeah. You do the wrong you, bit and the alarm goes off. Yeah, it does, is it? Yeah. How Dr. Patel learnt. <laughs> yeah. I should probably get my glasses on, hey? Mm-hmm, that's a nice one there, yeah. yeah you can tell straight one? away because of the clear, you can see the clarity, you can see the light getting into it. It almost looks like a pretty light blue one, doesn't hmm. it? These trees would be good for your ear hairs, babe. Mm -hmm. yeah, look. <laughs> there we go. Don't take me down. Another star. So would you send the star ones to Tyler? Yep. Yep. Yeah, they do a very good job cabishing in them. Um, and what would you get the star ones that polished? Or do you, which one would you? Um, so star yeah. ones, you can't facet because you will not get a star out of them if they're faceted. So they just have to be cabishing, which is domed. Yeah. That's the only way you'll get a star out of them. Yeah. And it's very, very cheap to get your stones cabochoned over in Thailand because it's much quicker than cutting. Yeah. So it's only $3.50 per finished carrot and you don't lose as much as you would with so a facet. So we put stone. that in a separate container? Yeah, I'm going to put them in little bags oh, for excellent. you. Yeah. And they're going to say exactly what to do with them. So if you do send them, they'll already say on the bag. Oh, excellent, okay. thank you. So I don't like people leaving here not knowing what they've got. <laughs> Does your mum still do the Foster King? Um, her eyesight's starting to go. She still owns her mine. But I think she, I think she may sell it soon. You gonna buy that too? It's right next door to mine, so I'm considering it. Oh no, I love beach towers, but I just want a quiet beach tower, but everybody wants a quiet beach tower. That's why they're all at the beach. Years ago when I was younger, I lived on the Sunshine Coast before it boomed. Oh, so did I, I yeah, so I'm did I. I. It's the first song. Cotton tree. And yep. Now it's all so different. My stepdad lives there. We went and visited the other year and it's crazy. It's like a little Gold Coast. You know, last time I went there, I was like, there's traffic lights everywhere. And even on the main road, when you're going past the Bribey Island turn off, I was like, there's traffic lights on the high, like on the highway bit. And all the old Queenslanders around the Hinkle Parade are all knocked down in units there now. Oh, okay. Mm. You know, it's definitely different to how I remember it but just it's just a lot more stuff like and then I'm trying to work out where all these people are even coming from yeah, I think with the COVID everyone left to Sydney and Australia. yeah and Victoria mm -hmm. dogs tooth so Steve would have explained to you that your dog's tooth is like your natural crystal so it has six sides to it and it's just a natural crystal. Mm. Yeah. We hardly ever cut dog's tooth because it's like the way nature intended it. Yep. To be. The only time I'll ever cut into one is if it's like big and a perfect stone because, you know, just the price you can get out of it really. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't generally cut into them unless they're very, very big. 
So do you cut your own as well? Um, I'm working on it. I've got a faceting machine. It won't be here till July. My mum's one, it started getting the wobbles and it wasn't redeemable. So, <laughs> so we, where did you buy yours? Um, from BJ Faceting Machines. They're like the best ones you can buy. Yeah. Um, the other ones, they had too long a wait on them. Yeah. And then I looked at theirs and I thought they're twice the amount, but and sometimes how much twice. How the faceting machine? Uh, I think all of it cost me 8900 with everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, my husband's learning currently. I, I don't personally have enough time, yeah. but I'm going to set a jewellery shop up at the front for next season for my husband. He can sit in there and cut. Yeah. And then when you get your second husband, yep. he, can and he can do the lawn. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 I'm from Quan Curry, so my husband is <laughs> Aboriginal Chinese. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Um, everybody in Kloncurry is Aboriginal yeah, Chinese. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, you would never pick that he's Asian or China or Aboriginal to be honest. You mm. can't tell what he is. Yeah. He's just got a tan. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going these ones, just my personal opinion. Yep. I wouldn't spend the money to yep. do anything on them. Yeah. I could tell people to, but I just don't feel it's right. Yeah. These ones up here need to be skin polished, okay? Yep. So, they're nice colours, they will all come up really lovely. They would be worth getting skin polished. Did you put them in a... Yeah, then you get them like it set like into... This one. Yeah, so you need to get them set into gold or something. Yeah. You don't have to pick gold, silver, anything. You work at a silver mine, just steal some and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe bo borrow it, borrow it. No, but you know, so you get them, you know, set into something and to make them into a pendant. Yeah. yeah. So these would be, you can do rings out of them. There's a lady here who works here. She does have a ring made out of one of them. In that case, you need to get it domed or else it'll just look silly. Do they do that Lamberts? Um, you can send them to Lamberts to get done. They will take more of the stone off than what someone would do here, but it will be perfectly shaped if you send yeah. it to Lamberts. Okay. Yeah. So you'll lose a bit more of the stone, but the shape will be a lot more perfect. So for a wedding ring or something like that, would, would you do these ones here? Yeah, these are the ones I would send to go over there and get cut. Yeah. So I'm going to put possible cutters on here because there's two I think I threw in there that I just thought, not sure, yeah. I'm not, like I'm really unsure, but they will send back ones that they couldn't cut to you with your cut ones. Yeah. So I always say to people it's better to throw the possibilities in. Yeah. If they're right on the edge, I wouldn't throw it in if it was really dodgy. Yeah. Um, but every now and again you get a stone that looks perfect that'll also have something inside it that you can't see as well. So I aim for 50% of my stones back. That's a good yeah. way to look at it. Yeah. So I, yeah, when I send them, I'm trying to get 50% back because sometimes there's things in the center of things that you just can't see. And they'll go to cut and they won't set your jewellery, so they will cut your stones, send them back to you, and then you get them okay. set. Wait make, till they're done. Yeah, you got to wait till they're done. But these ones, I wouldn't make a ring out of them. Yeah. They're more like for your chains and things like yeah. that. If, especially if you're making an engagement ring or something, I would stick to sparkly. Just my opinion. Yeah. You yeah. might like yeah. rusty. <laughs> they're the ones that had a hard life. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So these ones are like your show and tell. They are all sapphires. Yeah. They're just... A mix. Yeah, mix I just... Yeah. But no, uh, you've got to do something with them, you know, yeah. like... Well, thank yeah. you so much for that, I really appreciate no, you're it. you're fine. Yeah, no, the other thing is these actually... Oh, threw one away. They look really good if you um, clean them with steridone tablets, like the dentures. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you put them in a little jar near yeah. the light. Okay. Once they're clean, you'll have lots of light shine through them. So nice. they'll look really cute that way too. They're so pretty cut, aren't they? 